Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to access your Windows 10 machine remotely for free using TeamViewer. Now uh, TeamViewer is free for home and personal use so if you are a uh, business user uh, do purchase their um, application but let's go ahead and set up the free version now. So I'm going to go to Firefox here You can use uh, Edge if you like, or whatever browser that you happen to prefer. But essentially, open your browser and go to teamviewer.com. Okay, and uh, their sites basically look like this forever. So you're almost certainly going to see this girl and that box and this big green button. So go ahead and click on the download team viewer button. Then in Firefox, we'll get our save file prompt there. And in the upper right, files downloaded, we can go ahead and run it. Okay, so while that's running, we can close the browser. We're done with that. And we have a few choices to make. So uh, because this, this is the Windows 10 machine that we want to access, we want to choose installation to access, access this computer remotely. And uh, go ahead and choose our personal non-commercial use there. And check off show advanced settings because when you, set, when you click on accept next, and uh, verify that you want changes done to the user account control, in our case. Uh, you get these options here, uh, use remote print, use TeamViewer VPN. These are things that you might want later. If you have Office installed, uh, this will automatically be checked off. Um, if you're not doing meetings and stuff, just uncheck it. So there's no point in adding complexity to Outlook that you'll never use. But these two, uh, definitely remote print is usually the number one go-to extension that people want so it's uh, nice and easy to set it up at this point by clicking on that advanced button now go ahead and click on finish and the installation will begin okay so i paused recording there for a bit so that you don't have to watch the uh, long and boring installation it's not that long actually but it's too long to watch um, and we eventually get to this window here, set up unattended access. So we go ahead and click on next, right? And you can name this computer. Um, it it pulls the name, uh, the actual name of the computer from the system properties, but you can call it whatever you want or just leave that, I'll just leave it. But the, the key point here is that you're going to give it a password, right? And this is the password that you're gonna use uh, when you're on the other computer logging into this one it, it secures it for you so put in a password twice make sure you record it somewhere and click next uh, you can create a free team viewer account if you already have one of course you can select that and sign in or to make things nice and simple um, just say I don't want to create a team viewer account now and click on next now this number is very important. This is the number that uh, you're going to use to call your computer to remotely connect to it, right? So um, I'm just going to copy that at the moment because we're going to switch to another computer in a moment and use that. But now go ahead and click finish. You know, write that number down, right, along with the password. And you will see uh, here we have the um, standard Team Viewer window, uh, the window you would get if you double clicked on the TeamViewer 10 icon on your desktop. Um, so th this is the number that we just copied, okay? This password is not the one that you made up. Um, this is a temporary password uh, for uh, a one-off instance. So if you had uh, a tech person that wanted to connect to your computer, you wanna give them this password. This password will change each time your computer reboots. So, uh, you know, they don't have permanent access to your system. So, and you can hit the little uh, refresh icon there and say create new random password. Um, if, you, if you just had a tech on and you want to ensure that they can't simply leap back in, 
right? But down here, this is your, um, see here's that setup unattended access thing there that came up because I clicked on that password. I'll hit cancel, but uh, down here is it where you would click to change the personal password that you have for permanent access, okay? So, so we've set up TeamViewer here. It's ready to go. If we X out of it, it's still running, right? So it gives us a little notice. TeamViewer is still running, so you'll be still able to connect to this computer from a remote site. So it's the little blue icon here, right? And um, if you don't see it, you can click on the little arrow on the left-hand side of your icons, and you can see it right there. Right. So uh, now let's switch to another computer and connect to this one. So here we are, we're now on an XP machine and we're going to connect to that Windows 10 machine. So I'm going to paste in the number and click on connect to partner. So this is where you're going to be doing it, right in the center where it says control remote computer. Paste in the number that you recorded uh, for your Windows 10 machine. Make sure remote control is selected and then say connect to partner. Okay, now it prompts you for the password that you made up. Put that in and click on log on. Now it's connecting. And here we have that desktop. Now these little windows here are uh, the, the uh, team viewer components that are allowing you to connect, to connect. So for example, if you were to click on this X here, you'd actually close all your connections and you'd be backing out, right? So if you want to get rid of this window, it's in your way. You actually click on the little uh, minimized panel icon right there, and it goes over there. Okay. Now um, we clicked off the um, remote print thing. If you want to activate that under extras, you click on extras, and then you click on remote printing. Okay. And what that will do is uh, is enable you to print to whatever printers are hooked up to the computer you're controlling from, right? So if I had printers on this XP machine uh, by clicking that extras and choosing remote printing, I can now print from my remote Windows 10 desktop to the XP machine that I'm currently physically at, right? So very handy um, if you're working with files and you need to print out, of course. So um, let's just pull something up here. So let's pull up the weather, for example, just so that we've made a change on the desktop there. And um, let's switch back to our uh, Windows 10 desktop. So now we're back on the Windows 10 desktop, and you can see that I've opened up the weather. All right. And here we are on the uh, back on the XP machine controlling the Windows 10 machine. And the TeamViewer window can be resized, right? So you can uh, you can shrink it, grab the edge, right? You can see the double arrow up here, or you can grab the corner, pull the corner out, right? It'll, it'll stay in uh, proper aspect ratio, right? So you just have to grab one edge. And, uh, you know, if you're working away at the XP machine, but you want to uh, just have quick access to this, so you can keep it in a little window and do whatever you need to. Maybe you're monitoring some kind of process or something, right? Whatever you need to do remotely, you can do with TeamViewer this way. Hopefully this has helped you to gain control of your Windows 10 machine remotely. Thanks for watching.